For MacSources.com, I'm Robin, and this is a review of PhotoSweeper for Mac. PhotoSweeper is a wonderful app that helps users to manage their duplicate photos and organize them on their computer. As you get started, I would recommend taking a look at the PhotoSweeper manual under the Help menu. It is a very comprehensive guide to the app and shows you some valuable insights on how to select your best photos. Under the same menu, there are also Photo Sweeper tips that are basically a quick start guide. The tips walk you through how to add photos, compare them, how to review and mark photos, and how to move marked photos to the trash. Once you have the basics, open up your preferences to set up Photo Sweeper. You can customize just about every aspect of the app functions, like the compare settings, how to group your photos, whether or not you want them auto-marked, and whether or not to keep the photos. Under Filter and Sort, you'll find that you can filter images by type and file size, and you can sort by date or title. Under the Auto-Mark Preferences, you'll see how the app judges which photos to auto-mark. From here, you can adjust the default criteria. You can also prioritize your photo libraries. The Advanced Preferences allows you to determine whether or not to use a fast bitmap generator move photos to the trash from iPhoto, and when you want to empty your cache. By default, the cache location is the system disk, but you can change that here. Now that it's all set up, we are going to load our entire iPhoto library, which is over 73 gigs of photos. Photo Sweeper allows you to choose photos and folders selectively, but because it is designed to handle mass quantities of photos quickly and efficiently, I wanted to show you just how quickly Photo Sweeper can import and compare the photos. This video is playing in real time, and while they are loading, I would like to point out that the media browser in the bottom left hand corner allows you to access your iPhoto library events as well as photos stored in Aperture or Adobe Lightroom. Along the side of the window, you will see a preview of the photo currently selected, the histogram, and the metadata of that photo. You can also change the size of the photos in the window by adjusting zoom in the bottom right hand corner. Just remember, this is video of Photo Sweeper comparing over 73 gigs of photographs in real time. We did not alter the speed of this video at all, and Photo Sweeper is able to go through this large of a library in about one minute's time. Once Photo Sweeper has finished comparing the photos, it asks you if you want them automatically marked. From here, you can also access the auto mark preferences and adjust them as necessary. If you choose not to auto mark, you will have to review each photo individually rather than letting the app do the heavy lifting. As you review photos, you will note that in the sidebar, you can see the created and modified dates of the photograph. This is key information when working with different versions of images. Another way to view the compared images is in face-to-face -face mode. With face-to-face, -face, you are given two large photos with specific information like the location on your hard drive, as well as image size and date modified. When you are done separating the photos you want to keep from the unnecessary duplicates, you simply close out of the program. You can save your progress and come back to it later. This has been a quick look at Photo Sweeper for Mac. It's a great utility for any photographer, amateur, professional, or recreational. For our full review, visit MacSources.com. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to receive all our latest news and reviews. Thanks for watching.